hello there. Uh, we will continue with our automation part that we were solving. This is uh, the specimen paper for examinations from 2017 for A level IT paper 4. Uh, <clears throat> so we have previously solved the first two parts. Uh, let's talk about the third part. This is the automation part. IST wants a booking system for the staff to manage. Let me see, it's being recorded. No? It's being recorded. Okay. IC Stats wants a booking system for the staff to manage a booking of ski hall, the ski lessons with their instructors. IST wants all the customers and the instructors' data to be stored in a database. The database should be named as this, followed by your center number and candidate number. So initially, what I'll do is first of all, we have to make this database. Name it as right and initially import these two files. We have to import these two files, so let's first of all import these two files. I have them currently on my desktop. Uh, let me confirm. Yes, I do. They're right over here on my desktop. So we have to import these two files. Usually, um, it's always good practice to open up the files and see uh, whether you can easily import them or not. Maybe you might have commas, maybe the data has been transposed uh, from rows to columns, so you have to be careful. Open up both files and see. Yes, I don't think so. there's an issue in importing these. It's quite simple data. So, let's import it. Customer details. Um, I can't have a primary key over here, so I won't have one. And then I have to import the instructor details. Again, I don't seem to have a primary key over here, and I can't assign it right now. Okay, so I've imported this. Let's go back to the question and let's read it. I would always suggest you to read ahead uh, before you actually start doing everything. After you imported these two, create appropriate tables, field names, data types, and relationship to enable ski lesson booking to be made. Now, you might have seen from the very beginning that if you read the scenario, IST wants a booking system to be made. They want you to make a booking system using a form. Now, this booking system should be able to store information of the instructor, the customer, and other details that the examiner is asking you to do. And for this particular case, they are saying that you have to create appropriate tables. We have imported, but probably we have to, not probably, we have to actually um, uh, create uh, one more table or more tables if it's uh, advisable on our own that can help us to make a booking system. To make a ski lesson booking, IST wants a user to be able to select the following from a list for the booking, the customer, the instructor, the date, and the time. IST wants the user to be able to select the times from the following list, right? IST would like a ski lesson booking form to create and view the bookings, right? Create a ski lesson booking form where a user can select the booking, a list of instructors available for the selection should be restricted to those that match the level of customer. The form should automatically display the customer level, the customer age, instructor's level, the price of the lesson. Make the customer's level and age appear automatically when the customer is selected. One of the important points that we need to consider. Make sure that the instructors can be selected only, be only, be an instructor appropriate for that. So it's a point that has been repeated again, which was mentioned up there. Assume that adults are people 18 years and over and a child is under 18 years of age. Make the price of a lesson with the selected instructor display correctly depending upon depending on the age of the customer. And add a company logo. So um, initially, if I look over here, there is no way I can create any suitable sort of relationship between these two tables. And frankly, there's no point of creating a relationship between these two. In order to make a booking system, Obviously, what we have to do is we have to make another table and this table that I will create, I will name it as my 
bookings right and what I'll do is I'll name the first as bookings or booking ID to be specific I'll leave it as out number and if I come in my customer details what I would see is I have the following but I need to have over here is customer ID as well so I will add another field over here yes you can now your question you might be thinking right now how, why should we add another field on our own well we can and we have to create as a booking system we can create appropriate tables we can add field names data types and so in order to make a suitable relationship in order to make a booking system we need to have primary keys and foreign keys okay and a, and, and a booking table will hold the information of booking ID it will hold the information of customer ID it will hold the information of your instructor ID and the time and the date stuff like that so in the customer details I will define is as cust ID which I will <clears throat> leave it as an auto number I'll save it then I will have over here will be instructor ID I'll add in the field ID and I will leave it as an auto number same over there okay once I've done this Um, I, I I can do is I can add over here is uh, customer ID right I can leave it as a number then I can have is the instructor ID I can leave it as a number as well um, then the question says over here is I still want to select the bottom of the list instructor customer instructor date and time so I need to have is the time which will be the following so all I do is I can use a lookup I can type myself okay next and I would like to type over here is well you will not have the privilege to do so I can do it but you can't do it and then we have is 10 30 Make sure you don't mistakenly add any space. Okay, you have to be careful with these things. Uh, leave it as time, right? Then I can have is the date, and for the date, I can simply use is date time, and it's preferred that I can use is short date over here. It will be preferred. I can save this, and I can see whether it's working fine or not. So the customer. Uh, your your customer ID should basically uh, create a portable field names. I just want to do set the list of instructors available. The list of instructors available for the selection should be restricted to those. The form should automatically display customer level, customer age, customers level price. okay to uh, make a ski lesson booking I still want user to be able to select the following from a list for the booking for 
from a list the customer instructor so what I'll do is in my booking I would like this customer ID this customer ID I would like this to actually display information of my customer this thing and I would like the instructor ID this when I click over here I would like this information to be displayed over there okay because the question says so to make a ski booking as you want a user to be able to select the following from a list for the booking that's where it should be selected from a list when I click on customer I should get a list from where I can select the customer when I click the instructor I should get a list from where I can select the instructor when I click on date I should get a list from where I get the date and when I click on time I should get a list from where I can get the time so all I have to do is I will simply go to the lookup wizard and oh, I'm sorry not, not this one over here I would rather close this one no so in the customer ID I would look up and I would like the information of the customers to be flushed into the following right so finish yes and in the same manner I would like the instructor ID to have information flushed into the instructor ID once I run this I get is this I get the information of the customer I can get the information of the customer and instructor the time and also the date so this is what we are supposed to do okay right now I don't want any information so I'll just delete one I don't want right now okay so here we go. I'll save my information right so you actually have to use uh, your system lifecycle a lot in your automation part okay yeah, I would advise you to take a blank paper and note down the points that need to be done take out a highlighter um, highlight the most important points note down anywhere make an area because you have to actually develop a system during the examination time uh, you really have to have a good knowledge of how to create forms switchboards in excess how to use all the features you have to think over it how can you actually resolve and solve a particular problem okay it's it's uh, it's quite an uh, advanced topic and if you really want to be good in automation you have to have a good knowledge of each and every part in excess okay a lot of thinking ability will be involved in this particular case not very complicated but yes okay so now um, we've been able to do this we've been able to make make the date thing now what we have to do is we will start okay what i'll do is i'll make the booking id oh. primary <coughs> so uh, in order i to make will now form, see first of all i have to look at my relationships. i have the really following relationship name, which uh, is perfectly let me first fine of all have a look at relationship i'll name. start um, making is my form now because i have the following this details is, uh, this is actually many to many so what i should be doing over here will be uh, since my customer detail customer id over here I'll, I'll have it as a primary key and same case the instructor details I should have my instructor ID as a primary key so you can see now I have one to many and one to many relationship made over here so I'll create my form a blank form I'll save it as book booking form okay and <clears throat> I would have the following apart from the heading I have the booking ID I have the customer ID the instructor ID instructor ID obviously I'll make it go over here okay I would have further the full name uh, the surname the age the level they've been asking okay all right there we go uh, let's see if I select from here yes gets updated gets updated gets updated right now the important point over here is that if I select from here is beginner I should get the beginner here if I select intermediate here I should get intermediate here because this is what the question actually says and the examiner has repeatedly mentioned this point again and again like he says the list of instructors available for the selection should be restricted to those that match the level of the customer so in order to do that what I'll do is it's very simple 
I will go into the instructor ID, I'll go to the properties, I'll come in the data in the row source, I'll click on this and I'll link it to the level. How will I do this? I'll come in the instructor level and I will define a path over here. Forms, booking form and I have the level. I'll save this, I'll close this and we'll see it works or not. So if I select from here is the beginner, I do get the beginner. Okay. Then if I select from here is the advanced, I will not get the advanced because it doesn't get updated. Well, if you have viewed my previous lectures, we have a very good solution to the following problem. Okay, this can be done through a macro. How? You click on customer ID because this is being linked with this. I want this to be updated to this. So I right click on this, I'll go to the properties. And the event handler, I will come after update. And over here, what I'll do is, I'll make a macro. And I will say that this should actually do is requery what it should requery my instructor ID. Okay. So if I select intermediate from here, I get intermediate. If I select advanced from here, I get advanced. And if I select from here is beginner, I get my beginner. Okay. It's a very simple way. You make a macro and the macro does is that it will requery this every time you select something it will be requeried and the information get, gets flushed back over here okay and before that i simply uh, flush this level into this okay uh, right uh, further what we need is as the question says we need over here is make sure the instructor can be selected right right what else i need is okay I'll make sure the customer's age level appear automatically so further what we need is the following um, we need is the instructor's name we need is the instructor's level uh, we need is um, we have the age um, yeah we need is obviously the time uh, which was obviously one of the most crucial part the examiner asked us the question did ask us okay there we go every time when you work on something please try to run and see it's working or not so I select over here intermediate or if I select this intermediate, I get my all the data getting updated. Uh, my booking ID is there at update as well. And um, uh, I get the intermediate here as well. So if I select from here, I obviously get this changed as well. Excellent. So it's being updated as well. I can select date and I can select the time as well. So I've been able to construct a booking form very much perfectly correct. And if I save it, it, it does get saved. Um, I can show you over here if I should look at my booking system you see the information that I, did, I just entered over there right over here all this information is being saved over here so I've been able to create one uh, one thing that we are still left with is this particular part that says assume that the adults are people 18 years old so adults are people who are 18 years and the child is which is below 18 years so we have to do is we have to make is uh, uh, I, can, I can simply make it one over here and I can name this as uh, what could it be? Uh, make the price of a lesson with the selected instructor display correctly depending on the age of the customer so price 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 what was price dependent on was assume that 18 years make the price of lesson with the selected instructor display correctly depending okay so we can say over here is is equals to double if we use double if in in excess you should be aware of that if the 
age is greater than 18 comma we should have is the lesson price lesson adult otherwise lesson price child okay let's have a look Okay, so age actually do is I can name this as a price. I can and and obviously I I need these over here uh, because if I if I delete them, let me just check. Um, if I do this, sixty five. So it's perfectly working fine. Thirty five. Yes. So what I can do is um, just to make it much more impressive, uh, make it black, uh, make it black, and I should have uh, this. I will bring this down here. I will have some. Some label that says IST booking system Oh, I, I, I don't have the logo here right now. I'll just assume that that's logo, okay? I don't have it. It's a... Okay, so this is what I have. Um, I have the following. I can have my navigations button over here, okay? I'll have my go to the first record. I'll have my other navigation button that will say go to the last record. and previous record obviously i will arrange them properly my command buttons are supposed to be over here command buttons will be the following i will add is add a new record i will after adding my record i would like to obviously i would like to save my record in case I would want to delete a record, I should have an option of deleting a record as well. I will make sure that they are of the same size. Okay, so. Add a record. And I could save this record. Okay. I could go to the first record. I could go to the next record that I just saved right now. So I've been able to make a very appropriate uh, booking system that was required by the examiner. So please have a look at each and every detail that I've discussed over here. Um, in case if you still have any questions and queries, 
um, you will always please try to um, go to my website mrsime.com um, you have my guest book over there or you can email it to me mrsime at the rate of yahoo.com either ways I will try my level best to answer you both ways in case if there's any question that I have not been able to elaborate or explain properly but please try to view again and again in order to have an idea what I've actually talked about okay we'll we'll go to the next part and we'll solve it uh, in a while okay for then okay uh, we will solve now the <coughs> web programming part of specimen 2000 Six seventeen. Paper four. Um, IST wants prize draw quiz page for the website. The page has already been started. You are required to complete it. Open IST draw HTML. Okay, this file has been provided to you, which is over here. Okay, this is already provided to you. So what you need to do is you need to place your coding. show you uh, come to the code over here you have to oh sorry I wanted to place the coding over here I'll just uh, sort of like rename it so that I can show you where it has to be done. Okay, I've done it here as well. You <clears throat> okay? So basically, you have to place your coding uh, right over here. Uh, they did mention over here. Place the scripting over here. User enters the choices one, two, or three in the boxes with the input ID one, two, three. Okay, these are the uh, IDs given to your text boxes. And click on test your answers. The correct answers for quizzes are the following option two, three, and two. Two, three, two are the correct answers. Using ISTDraw.html, add a script code to achieve the following. When user clicks to submit the choices, the script must display an alert displaying the number of correct answers. When the alert is displayed, the number of correct answers must be displayed in the text box with the ID count under the number of correct answers labels. For all three correct answers displayed, display the text well done in the ID response placeholder under the text uh, under the count box. The text enter draw should appear at the ID enter placeholder under the prize draw quick quiz heading if any answers are incorrect then correct entries should be deleted the text click here to try again should be displayed under the count box at the id response placeholder click here should reload the page add the comments now in order to do this um, i get i did get a request from many students that please try to solve this uh, in some other method not as per given in the marking scheme so i have tried to solve this in a very simple manner using simply the the if commands and the comparisons right um <clears throat> so if you have uh, got the question the question basically is saying is so let let me first demonstrate how it works if i enter over here the right answer which is two three and two which is all three answers are correct and enter draw appears over here and number of correct answers is three and well then appear here is. otherwise if I enter over here let's say two three and let's say one it says two options are correct number of correct answers two and it says click here to reload when I click on this it reloads if I do not enter anything and if I click on this, it says no option selected. Okay, and it says zero. If I, let's say select is uh, two, one, one, it says one option is correct, says one correct, and click here to reload. So this is how 
uh, the entire thing is working. Now let me explain you the coding. How have I solved it? What I've done is I've made a function validate and within this function I use the if command. I have used multiple if commands to in order to do this. Okay, probably seven to eight in order to satisfy this particular question. Yes, I, I believe there, there can be uh, much better ways of doing this. I will try to provide you with these solutions as well. If document.form1 dot answer dot value which means within my form within my document if I have form one okay so within this I have this form one here you go this is my form form one okay so I, I had to make sure that the in, all, all of this was within in form particular form so I encapsulated this all within a form tag so here is the closing of the form tag and there is the beginning of the form tag so within my document if I have form one and within that if I have answer one what is answer one this is answer one this is the name of my text box uh, and it's named as answer one okay if answer one has a value of two and answer two has a value of three and answer three has a value of two which means if all are correct well this is for the and sign the double ampersand means and sign then do what give me an alert showing me that all three are correct go to my document and wherever I have the response ID display over there all answers are correct okay otherwise uh, sorry doc, uh, um, go to my other ID enter okay I have declared over here at the very top another ID with the name of enter yeah. okay enter here you go enter over here I would like you to display me enter draw otherwise if none of them are selected tell me no option selected right just give me one second right two three two done all empty show me this so, uh, third case if the first one is correct the second one is correct and if the third one is wrong then do what display two answers are correct then uh, in the count to which is a text box which is a placeholder okay this what we're talking about this over here display me uh, how many are correct two are correct and uh, the third answer which was wrong leave it empty document dot get element by ID answer three dot value is equal to empty uh, change this into a null value and then display click here click result to reload now let's talk about this result what i've done over here is we would like in this case let's say i have some wrong answers let me show you there you go i will get click here to reload how does it work how this works is i've declared variable v is equal to here and then i've declared variable result which is v dot link now the reason why I had to do this was because I can't include a text over here over here here dot link it's not possible this is not the way variables work so I have to declare first a variable which is equal to some random text then I'll declare another variable which is result which is equal to this variable which is here and this will be converted into a link then later on what I can do is I will be able to use this particular result this particular variable which is result in different places for example click here that is variable so I am concatenating a user defined text with a variable and then again concatenating with to reload so it, it will be displayed as here click here which is a link now to reload here we go and and so on and so we will keep on doing this if it's two is correct and third is wrong and the third 
and this one is correct then do this if the second one the first one is wrong the second one is correct and the third one is wrong if, which means only if one option is correct then do what display me one answer is correct um, leave answer one and two to empty and display click here again so um, by using different options by checking different options I have um, simply copy pasted and just made some changes in every option using if then else so by using one two three four five six seven by using seven ifs I've been able to solve this particular problem and it works pretty much exactly the way the examiner actually wanted and one more important point was if you would have looked at the marking scheme the examiner mentioned that um, your output should be working properly um, coding obviously will be looked at um, but if it's working properly it doesn't matter how the coding is the examiner needs to see how it's working like I said there could be different ways of doing this but this was one of the easiest and the most understandable way I could explain my students and since there was a lot of requests for many students to explain it in the easiest manner as possible this is uh, one of the best way and one of the easiest method I could do it still if you have any issues understanding this please let me know okay um, I will try to upload this solution uh, on my website so that you can try and experiment this again and again but you need to get used to to variable math string uh, methods the properties arrays the methods the properties once you're used to all this uh, it, it should not be a problem to come across any particular problem or issue so see you next time with more issues and more problems i'll be uploading more activities on my website for web programming so do keep on visiting mrsime.com again and again till then have a nice day thank you